Hey guys, because over here and you are watching We Are Genius. Guys, today I am again with a new video around ESP8266. And this is going to be the second part in the series of modifying a bathroom wigging scale to make it IoT enabled. So if you have not checked the first part where actually we modified the wigging scale and used one external load cell amplifier to like phase the weight information to ESP266 or more specifically UMOS over here. So in this video, we'll be publishing those weight information using MQTT messages to my locally installed Mosquito broker. And the published data can be viewed using any MQTT app or MQTT client app, or you can simply design your own dashboards and all to show the information. Again, if I'll have time, I'll make one such app and we'll come up with a, with another video. Or again, I might be coming up with a REST API tutorial around it uh, instead of MQTT. So that we'll see in the future, but uh, for the time being, we are going to use MQTT and we'll be publishing the data to our local MQTT broker. So let's see how to do it. So being said that, let's get started guys. So guys, this is the setup over here that we used in the last video. And this is the HX711 load cell amplifier module. And I have removed the mail headers that I used in the last video to connect it to the Arduino Inno. Instead of that, I will be directly connecting it to the ESP266 module using this cable over here. So I will just directly solder it to avoid loose connections and all. And when it comes to ESP266, I am using this lighter version of Wemos R1 Mini. And this comes with actually 1 megabit of memory. Except that everything else is quite similar, like it features the ESP8266 chipset as well as the CS340 USB to UART converter. So again, it can be programmed directly from PC. Along with that, I'll be using these three or like RGB LED so as to notify events, like if it has successfully pushed the data to the MQTT broker and so or Wi-Fi connectivity and so it can be displayed by using this LED. So I'll be just connecting it directly to the GPIO header of the Wemos module. So let's quickly solder it and we'll get back to the PC. I'll see how the code works. So guys, that's all with the connections. I have connected this LED strip over here directly to the ESP266. I think it will be able to drive it. Otherwise, I need to use some transistors to drive those LEDs. And actually, I have connected this load simplifier directly to the ESP266. So we'll get back to PC and we'll check how to implement the complete logic and how it will like push the weight and what the logic and all has to be implemented for that and later on after like finishing up this uh, like while uh, putting the cover and all i'll be just using one usb micro usb actually uh, expansion board so that to power it off using some sort of 5 volt adapter so let's uh, get into the coding so guys this is a sketch that i've used to phase the weight data from the load cell amplifier and publish it using MQTT. So before getting into code, let's see the libraries that I have used. Apart from the ESP266, I have used Async MQTT and HX711. So this is uh, like for getting weight data from the load cell amplifier module, whereas this Async MQTT client library is used to send MQTT messages to my broker and all. So again, uh, earlier actually I was using PubSub client library which is quite famous actually but that happens to cross repeatedly my ESP266 so I moved on to this library and this is working 
perfectly so if you are interested in installing this particular library you can get into include library then manage library and you can simply search for async mqtt client so i'll not get into that so okay let's search anyway async mqtt and what you can see it is showing already installed so actually as i have installed already but if you haven't you can simply get into this and it will show a install button right over here so you can click that and it will get installed automatically now let's close this and after that i've declared those wi-fi parameters for the sp266 and the mqtt host and the port so over here i'm actually using a local mosquito broker to have like mqtt message transfer and all but if you are using a cloud one you can simply give your website url and whatever it is and it might actually require authentication also so that you can check from the mqtt like the particular library that we have used and that have the provision for usage of username and password so that again happens if you are using cloud on and you can change the mqtt port to and after that i have set some particular parameters to fit my requirement like the calibration factor for my amplifier and the load cells that i have used particularly the scale as it is then the conversion factor to convert the weight information from one unit to another so i am actually having in kilogram then after that the pins uh, for the load cell amplifier then the leds that i have connected one red and one yellow and this pin numbering are according to arduino pin mapping of wemos module after that i have defined this con delay there is conversion delay the threshold weight and detection delay so this threshold delay is particularly useful for like if you don't want to trigger uh, the particular uh, weight measurement or mqtt whatever you can set the particular threshold delay after that only the main loop will get trigger or the main code will get trigger then conversion delay is the duration between two consecutive measurements or let's say measurement in the sense that will be sent to the server or the broker in over here then detection delay is the time to like up to which the weight scale will measure and the final weight data will be sent to the cloud so sorry sent to the broker so over here you need to stand on top of the scale up to particular this time so you can just change depending upon your requirement now apart from that actually this pretty much the example case that i have used apart from this setup and loop so for that you can check like examples async mqtt client fully featured sp8266 now over here let me show you yeah it has all those functions and all that i have used apart from the mqtt subscribe because i over here i'm just publishing the data instead of just like subscribing and all i'm not getting any information from the my mqtt uh, broker or whatever application that i'm using now these are some callback functions connect to wi-fi on wi-fi connect and all that is being attached over here so on particular event the particular functions get called so you can pretty much check that out from the example sketch of the async mqtt library then i have used this ip address because my network works on static ip only and some variable declarations you can pretty much check that out now getting into setup i have just initialized the scale now again you might be familiar with this code if you have watched my earlier video then pin declarations and all all the callbacks and all then it is connecting to wi-fi now getting into loop we have first power down the scale sorry power up the scale then we are just taking the measurements from the amplifier now over here we are have taking 10 10 consecutive readings and we are getting the average out of it and this is a feature of the library that we have used now that is multiplied by the conversion factor gets us the weight data in the in kilogram unit now if the measured weight is like higher than 20 kilos which we have said using threshold weight and the last detection was done before like the conversion delay or seven second in my case it will get into this particular loop 
now over here just we are taking some variables then we are getting this while loop uh, until it gets false now it gets uh, like false in two conditions if you are getting down from the scale before this particular con delay or the weight getting uh, like below the threshold weight now it is just measuring the weight and it goes on a loop and until the time span is higher than the detection delay that we have set earlier so if the time span is met and after that time it will just make the red LED low before that the red LED goes highest and it shows that uh, some weight has been detected by the uh, like controller or scale now the yellow LED goes high after the red LED goes low and it shows the weight is being published to the broker now I just convert converting the integer weight data into string and we are just publishing to the player MQTT topic so again you can change the topic name pretty much whatever you like and depending upon your setup now the scale is being powered down and a two second delay and all then the yellow LED keeps on blinking at a brightness level of 50 now this uh, just to show that scale and the controllers are on so this is pretty much heartbeat and all so uh, this is pretty much what is happening in the code and let's upload it okay before like uploading it let's open up the mqt lens app from chrome browser actually and this will help you to see the messages published by the esp 2 module so this you can pretty much install from the chrome web store just search for mqt lens over here on connections you just need to add your mqtd connections or the server address sorry the broker address and this is the address that we used in the sketch where our broker is running again i'm using the local m like mosquito installation over here so i'll just put this ip and the particular port and i'm not using any user no, like credentials and all if you are using a cloud one you might require username and password so again I have already added so I'll just take out this topic over here that we are publishing the weight data to and paste it okay this is actually already have subscribed so I'll just click on subscribe uh, okay let's delete it let's subscribe it so this is the topic that I have subscribed so as soon as the ESP2 system module publish the weight information it will appear over here so let's test it out okay uh, actually i have already uploaded the sketch but you can simply do it now let's put some weight on the wigan scale so i'm just going to press it and we'll see the empty message appearing over here so i'll just do it and you can see over here it is publishing 46.13 again that can be monitored from the serial monitor but this is pretty much because uh, the display is showing the around same weight there is a bit difference but you can just calibrate it now uh, actually after that I am getting a zero message because I have just written a script so as soon as the weight data get updated it will publish a zero message uh, so that is not being done by the sketch that is instead being done by my open have installation so that i'll have uh, like it feel i'll print uh, so in graph it will look good so that's all about it guys i hope you have enjoyed it and uh, it might be useful for your projects though if you are going to make one like this so if you have liked it make sure to hit the like button and if you are new to our channel consider subscribing it so see you next time with our next video till then goodbye